from the bowels of Baltimore to the tauntaun ridden lands of the north. Get your dice, bitches, because it's time for the Mythwits. The show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest or a bunch of clowns like tonight to talk about the ever-expanding Geekoverse and to play a game with us. We do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees, especially not this episode. I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me this week are my co-hosts... And there's no guests tonight. These are all going to be co-hosts because they're all Mythwits in my eyes. Mike Kafis. Hey, can anyone in the chat room verify that we can be heard? <laughs> we should be. It should be cool. Um, Jonathan Reinhardt. Hey, I've been promoted. Yes. <laughs> Jay Libby. Yo, suckers. And James Carpio. Oh, he's doing the, your, what is that, the West Side Story thing? That's more beatnik. <laughs> beatnik, uh, okay. All right, fine, I'm fine. So, um, so to let, let's go down the list real quick. Jonathan Reinhardt, is, uh, he runs Wargaming Recon, and he is one of the TSR podcast network uh, uh, network people, uh, networkies, networkers, net, netties, net somethings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need to um, work on a title for that. Yeah, I need I need to do that. I need to come up. What is the term for that? Uh, uh, Jay Libby runs Dilly Green Bean Games, an excellent gaming company that has been in business for how long, Jay? Since 2001. 2001. That's a long time. And he's put out a whole ton of stuff. Nobody makes books as quick as... And as prolific as Jay, he's like a machine. He's like, his keyboard, <laughs> his keyboard looks like my masturbation towel. Uh, James Carpio. <laughs> <laughs> James Carpio is also a game designer, and he works with uh, TSR Games. Uh, we're, we're the Chapter 13 is, is, is it? Is it are yeah, we, just... we are. We are now Grindhouse. Well, we, it's more like me. Uh, <laughs> Grindhouse Media. Right. And that's Grindhouse like, yeah, like, with the umlauts and everything. With, like Arnie would what say, that's a grand house. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> hey, say, Mike, so did you get a confirmation everything sounds good? Yes, we have okay. uh, confirmation Fantastic. on the audio. Fantastic. We finally get the shit right. Only It's only taking us five years, right? So, anyway... Um, so I brought these fine folks on to talk about. We're all going to be at Total Con, so we're going to be doing a whole Total Con thing. Uh, TSR, I'm I am with TSR. Uh, we we have a room. Total Con has been very generous. We go there all the time. We're really good friends with the people who run it, and we uh, generally tend to work our butts off there. So they're happy to have us. And what does um, TSR stand for? I've never heard of them. What what is well, that? So TSR used to. Well, all right. So, mm, J, uh, hey Jay or uh, James. Sorry, not Jay. James. Yeah. James. Uh, you want you want to field this one? <laughs> What's yeah, the right so, answer for this? <laughs> actually, TSR is just TSR. Um, the original TSR was actually Tactical Rules or Tactical Study Rules, I believe. Yeah, TSR. Um, but eventually they even, I think, kind of dropped that trademark at some point and just became TSR uh, when Jason purchased the um, the the trade name and the uh, the identity. We just took it as TSR. We we didn't go any further than that. So we're not tactical studies rules. Yeah, because I think I think the idea behind TSR revamping or, or, or relaunching under the TSR name, it's not to take TSR, the old TSR's place, or to try and recreate mm -hmm. that. It's not that. It's the spirit of that, right? I mean, that's sort of like yeah. kind of like the spirit of of because we're I mean, right now we're kind of indie, right? I mean, we're not we're not like established like bigwigs yet. We're working on it. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I mean, definitely. In the spirit of, I think, should be our battle cry because even uh, Gygax Magazine was pretty much the spiritual uh, successor to uh, dra the Dragon. So, right. uh, albeit yes, neutered as, as it ended up being. Uh, right? God bless Gygax Magazine, that freaking rule. Yeah, I know. It was cool. It was very, very cool <laughs> while it lasted. But, you know, things happen. Things and stuff. Yep. All right. So, anyway, let's let's uh, let's talk about. Uh, all right. So, hold on. Wait. Mike. Mike. Mm. Uh, when are we doing the the thing the the thing thing? You want to do that after all this? Uh, yeah. You know what? I mean, I'd I'd be happy to do it now. Let's just get that out of the way. Get it out of the way. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So so every year 
Mike's for Mike's birthday on this show, I get him a gift. Uh, it's usually a gag gift, and he has to open it on the show. Like he can't look at it, doesn't even know what it is until we get on the show and we do it live, and he has to open this thing up in front of everybody. So it's usually pretty funny. Well, this year he sniped me. This year, because my birthday become comes before his in the year, he said, "This year I'm doing it. I'm getting you something." So. Yeah, that- I have. I hope this is it because I didn't open it up and it doesn't have your name on it. But with this, is this is it soft? Yeah, it, it is. It is definitely soft. It's it's flaccid. Okay. It's flaccid even. Oh look, it's not very excited. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna is open this now. What's that? Is it damp? It's oh, it's a little. Damp. And it, look, it's not cut either. It's it's uh, it's got a no, flap right cut. here. So let me uh, keep it clean. Keep it clean. I'm keeping it clean. My oh, mom is watching, darn it. Keep your flap clean. Hey, yeah, Jonathan, you say hi to my mom, my real mom. Mom, Jonathan didn't know you were my, mil- my real mom. I'm throwing him out there. Hey. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to Mike's mom. Yeah, uh, he was like, that's your real mom? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yo. All my right. mom keeps it 100, yo. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here we go. It's a shirt. Okay. I'm not even going to look. I'm going to look at it on the screen as you all are looking at it at the same time I'm looking at it. And it says, So good. No, you're right. Let's do it dumbest way possible because it's easier for you. Huh? For you. <laughs> I mean, that was good. That's perfect. Is that shirt meant for you or what? That is me. That's, yep. That's good for me. That's good for I me. I can't tell you how many times this poor man has said, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just do it this way because it's easier for you. <laughs> That's perfect, Mike. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Oh, and speaking of shirts, real quick, I'm repping from last yeah. year. Yes. Yeah. And Jonathan, I see you got a shirt. What you got? What you got there? This guy's War Game and Recon shirt. Yeah, man. Fantastic. Oh, oh Jonathan, I, I got to put this out there right now. I'm going to totally whore it. Like, yes, sir. Can I, in, in advance, ask you to bring me a shirt down or of up course. or wherever to Total Con? Yeah. Okay, cool, man. 2XL. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I rep the stickers, you know, and I got there? 12 of them. I got 12 <laughs> of them now, buddy. You know hey, what that's I mean? your own John Fold. Look at hey, look at Mike repping. He's got he's got Wargaming Recon up there. He's got a total confusion bag up there from last year. My man. That's right. Well, if we're All traveling right. back in time, Eric I was gonna right save there. this. But I happened to come across this as I was getting ready. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, nice. <laughs> it's fantastic. Someone's gonna have to explain that to people. Uh, Jay, do you want to start? It's a Jay. Jay, why don't you explain that? Jay, you should do it. Uh, it's a Jay original. Yeah, yeah, that is a let's go. What Tim Cass, Frank Menzer, is Ben Gerber on there? Yeah, yep. that's yes, Ben, ben Gerber. Gerber's up in the corner. Yep. Blix, K Fez, are you on there? No, I didn't no, make the cut. No, nope. it's only four oh, horsemen. Well. And Greg, are you on there? No, no, it's no. just it's just you. It's nope. Jay, me, Tim, and uh, Ben. I got one. taken out of the knees on that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, we should photobob that one. I'm sorry, Come Greg. On. I'll make sure you're in the next. <laughs> No, that was that was a really old one. That was the joke when we had that whole goat sheep goat. thing going, like out of control. Right. Yeah, yep. so. the old the goat story, which cannot be repeated on air. No, no. twenty fourteen. <laughs> hey, something else we need to do though is uh, happy birthday to ba- David Benavides's two sons. Yes, yeah. their birthdays are today. Happy birthday, guys! Woo! Yeah. Happy Yay. birthday, Benavides. Benavides, these, 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 these. All right, so. Enough with that. Hey, we're we're doing uh so we're doing a bunch of stuff at Total Con. So so uh, the TSR it's called TSR Plays. That's the the name of the 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 overall arching event that we're doing. And we all have a bunch of games there. And I invited uh, I invited the crew to come in and um, and you know and and do games in this room. Well, kind of like James and me, really. Um, so let, let's get it's down all to the list. guys. But no, 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 it's not. What? It's not everybody. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get snarky when I'm behind the microphone. You know that. <laughs> All right. So, so the first, uh, the the I'm just gonna go down the list. So we got Chris Pierce is gonna be uh, running a Cortex Plus uh, GI Joe slash Transformers Devastation. Uh, it's Thursday night uh, at at five in the slot five. Uh, in slot seven, David Benavides is running Special. Special um, Pirates of the Wasteland, and I believe that is a uh, uh, 
Oh crap! It's from a video game. Um, Fallout. Fallout. Yes, it's it's like the it's like yeah. this this book that Fallout came out with that it's kind of a role playing game, right, James? But it's kind of it's really light, right? Well, no, I mean it's a video game. I know people have done no. adaptations, but I don't think there's anything official for. Well, I think I think he's. He might chime oh, in. I, okay. I think he might chime in, but I think there are some RPG rules in there or something, or they've broken stuff down with statistics so that you could use it in a game or or so. I don't know. He's in the uh, oh, David like, school us. Yeah, David will school us. He's in the chat room. All right, so uh, Steve Wallet is doing a ubiquity game, a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and this is awesome. It's all the the big stars from the '80s, so like um, you know guys from uh, uh, the A Team and and Sarah Connor, and but the characters you're playing are, are are all like heroic icons of the '80s, so that should be a lot of fun. And then James, James for uh, your first event. Is uh, Thursday night, and that's a Savage Worlds Escape to Port Royale. What's that? Uh, yep. What should people know about that? I mean, is, uh, is it, a pi- anyway, it's a pi- it sounds like it's pirate, right? Yeah, it's um, Pirates of the Spanish Main is basically the RPG version of the little miniature ship game that came out a while back, where you bought those cards and you popped out, and the ships were like that big. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tim Cask was really How into big? it. How big? Yeah, yeah, they're that big. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's a good so, like, holding right an there, apple right? Right. Yeah. and and the reason this kind of came about too is just i had my events and i'm like oh shoot this is pirate theme so i had a basic i came into my office i looked at every pirate game i have which i think i have like one of them and that was it so i was like all right i'm just going to be clever and come up with something and as, as i did but right. um it's it's going to be cool i mean honestly i kind of picture it as a very um escape from new york you know 1650 something so uh okay it's uh, to leave the island they're all actually everyone starts as prisoners uh who are who were famous pirates who've been rotting in the jail cells for a while and now they have their chance so actually i'd say more like a heist film slash escape like gangs of new york even huh yeah butcher (laughs) my favorite character come on butcher so, so David Benavidi said that no, he's made it up. So apparently, uh, he says they have an RPG online, but it's not that good. So I guess he's he's just doing his own thing. So this is going to be cool. All right. So then on Saturday, uh, or no, I'm sorry, Friday, James or uh, Jay, God damn it, I can't talk tonight. Jay has his first game. <laughs> the uh, and Jay, I had to name yours. Like you didn't give me any titles, so I just kind of pulled a name out of the description. So I hope you don't mind. I called it the Long Road Home. It's Mechton. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually no, it wasn't the one I gave you. It didn't have it. They didn't have titles like name titles. They so had, that's had good the, because, no, that's good because that's the, the adventure is about all the basically picks up where our last game ran at Total Con, and now all the characters who survived are trying to get back to to Karga, so via a fishing trawler. Okay. So it'll be a very that's interesting. F- see, that's the closest you're going to get the pirates in any of my games. So I see. All right. All right. I am sorry to do this aside, but I have to say hi, Dr. Nick in the chat room. Dr. Nick, I don't know if you see this, but I'm growing this partially for you, and I am coming with this in purple. I will be there with this in purple. I expect you should have something the like. That's if he can make That's if he can make we're, it. We're oh, you're not going to make it? Oh, my God. I don't God, know if no, he can or no, not. No. I, I don't know. He's been traveling back and forth between Florida and, and, and up north, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure he'll tell us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so... So let's see. So then, and and Mary Mary uh, has a game, has a D and D five E game, Temple on an Island, um, and then uh, another one shortly after that, Girl in a Well. It's another D and D five E game. Then Chris Pierce has a Cortex Plus Ghostbusters Inc., which sounds interesting. Um, I don't think it's Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters like with the proton pack. I mean, it may be, but I don't think it is. I think it's just like you know, Ghost Hunter types. Um, and then James, you have your first hunt event. Yeah, so to kind of give a shout out to The Hunt and uh, Leo Normington Jr., who is the creator of this game. So a little history is that in 1991, I ended up going to Dundracon out in San Ramon, California, and got to experience this really neat game where basically you ran around amazed and murdered criminals. It was awesome. And you played as these like high-tech warriors of types who had all kinds of like commercial ties and um very much the running man skirmish game yeah but um 
Yeah, so this is an amazing game. It's been out of print or really circulation for years and years and years. Finally, I convinced Jason to let me reach out to Leo and say, hey, um, we want to bring this back into the spotlight. So um, Jason and, and Leo met out in uh, California, because both out there, and uh, made the arrangement. And so we're for now, we are carrying The Hunt, which actually sold out. Yeah, I was going to say it's sold out, right? Yeah, so we're waiting to get it restocked. So, and that was kind of the thing too, is that it, a lot of stuff was um, talked about. I was like, well, can you think you can sell this? And we're like, yes. Um, <laughs> Do you think you sell it? Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> so anyway, this is actually going to be probably the kickoff game of the hunt for 2018. Uh, and hopefully we can get more people interested in it. Uh, maybe more people even running at other cons because eventually we kind of imagine this as being a league yeah. that can happen across conventions. Ooh. Yeah, it's, so, it, I, anyway, I'm really it. hopeful. It looks cool. It sounds really cool. I haven't played it yet, um, but I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm actually, I signed up, I made sure I signed up for, I think I signed up for that game, James. I don't even know if, uh, if you have to even set one aside for me. I think I signed up for it, but anyway. Okay. But I'll be there. I, I, I'm definitely going to be there because I, I want to get a hang of it before I actually run it. Because, <laughs> I mean, you're going to be there when we do the next – when we do the yeah. main event. It's not going to be like, you know, we're not going to know what we're doing because that's the next thing we're going to talk about is the main event. So Friday night, slot 6, I believe at 7 p.m., uh, goes on until 9. That is three tables, 15 people, um, three different teams. And it's going to be a big competition between the three teams. And we're going to start it out. Uh, the room is going to be, it's going to be kind of a LARP. It's going to start out sort of like a cocktail party. Um, maybe a half an hour of, of people are going to be given their characters. They get to read their backgrounds and, you know, talk to their teammates. And then even like, you know, intermingle with the other people. Uh, I think we're going to try and get Mike to go around and, and do some interviews after they get a little warmed up. Maybe Mike can go around with the camera and say, so what are, you, what are your plans for the event tonight, you know, and, and give them an opportunity to be like, well, we're going to trash them. We're going to destroy. I'm going to crush his head. I'm going to, you know, whatever character they get into. So we're going to try and, and enliven it up and make it like a really fun uh, party like atmosphere. And then Chris Pierce, I'm going to give him a megaphone. Oh, God. And uh, I'm not going to let him turn it up all the way, uh, but I'm going to give him a megaphone and I'm going to let him uh, do the announcing and stuff. I've already talked to him a little bit about it. He's ready. He's primed and ready because he's like, I said, imagine you're going to be basically kind of like Richard Dawson from Running Man. And he's like, you want me to do exactly Richard Dawson? Like, no, no, no. Make up your own character. But that's the idea. This, this sort of like that's sort of your role in all this. And we want you to like and, and you're going to be imagine you're like sort of like the announcer. Uh, you know, when somebody gets killed, it's your job to like and blah, 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 takes him out, you know, and, 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 you know, make it just really fun and lively. And, and people are supposed to trash talk. Um, they get throw paper at each other. It's all cool. Right. Right, James. Yep. And um, so that should be a really good time. I, I think if you're going to Total Con, this is the one event you shouldn't miss. It really shouldn't miss. It's going to be fun. And it's not the game's not very rules heavy. Right, James? It's not. I mean, it's. It's, I mean, it's a very simplified uh, skirmish game. Right. As long as you can roll 2d6 and add up some numbers, you're good. Okay. Fantastic. I can do that. I can, I can do that. And, all right. So, Chris Chris has another game, um, Cortex Plus, after, right after this event uh, called Strange Town. And then we get into Saturday. And, Jay, you had the first game on Saturday. I called it against the what, – what how did I spell it? Phonix. <laughs> hey, that was, hey. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. No, you know it's it's fine. It's, it's fine. It, you know what? It, how, much I, how much I want to pimp your stuff out so fast? You put it out there, and if I see it, it's gone. I know, I know, I know. Look, I was just cranky that day. Look, here's the thing. I was editing this flyer, and it's got a lot of shit going on, and it's got graphics. I got, I did it, uh, a whole like iconography on it. You'll see it flat flash up in the uh, up in the window here if you're watching the show live. Um, but it's got a lot of text in it, and the fucking uh, Photoshop was pissing me off because I was I created these big text boxes, you know. So it's like it defines where the text can be, but whenever I clicked in it, the cursor was like this big. And I didn't know where I was on the text. No matter where I clicked in there, it was just like this big. And I was like, I'm like moving around, like where the fuck? It? And I'd have to like either type or delete something to figure out where the hell I was. And moving text around like that, 
it got all screwed up and I tried to fix everything and I, I missed one and uh, and everybody started dogging me they're like <laughs> hooked on fo- Phoenix or Phonics <laughs> it was pretty fun I mean in retrospect it's pretty funny I was cranky that day I was really really cranky that day and I saw it and I was like god damn it <laughs> so, I had a lot of ass kissing to make up for, for setting you know, that one off I'm sorry you know I, I was being a dick alright so so you got against the Phoenix so is that that's a G Corps event right yeah, that's the that's the Marvel Kids event we run every year at Total Conf. Two hours, pack it full of kids. Last year it was crazy. I think we had what I want to say fifteen or sixteen players for a ten player game. Right. And uh I have a giant binder of Marvel characters, so pretty much I don't like saying no. This year I might have to, but I can still kill them all off if I need to. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, I bring what, swagger what, for the kids and stuff, and it's just hey, it's the big kids event that I like hey, to Jace, run every year. What's your cry count? Goal yeah. this year. Yeah, how many kids you gonna get crying? <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you always have a goal, right? You at least. Bad enough, my students cry. I try not to make them cry at the convention too. Well, I we can. There's one kid I think we could invite that we could definitely get a good cry out of, right? Oh, but dear. Who, who's a, a kid? <laughs> no, no, GI Joe kid. Remember? Yeah, come on, we should, oh. we should pick on him anymore. He, 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 He's paid his dues, man. I know he did. He did. I'm sorry. I take it back. All right. Uh, so, uh, the GI Joe kid, I still have you back, buddy. Right. No, no, we love him. So anyway, so Jay, you uh, you have another one. The the I call it the Godstones. Is yeah. that uh, that's another G Core event? Four four hours of the closest you're going to get to. Well, yeah, four hour G Core event for my Guardian Universe X setting it takes place in space with a bunch of misfit um, legionnaires that are trying to retrieve kind of like Infinity Stones for. A, a certain god and you know it's got all sorts of fun stuff it's got giant monsters it's got small <laughs> monsters um it's got a hedgehog as a team leader and um one of my regular players was was like i really want to play this stupid teddy bear nuclear character so we have that character in there for him and here's my little my little swag flyer which i don't know if you can really see well oh, that's but, cute all right yeah oh, wow. i think i've seen that okay so you had those printed out I just printed them here on the computer. Yeah. Okay. So Very nice. If you guys need stuff, just let me know before, like, preferably, like this weekend. Yeah, I know, right? Um, okay, so then, um, so then, uh, Mary has a D and D five E game, uh, and James, you have your first Pulp Eric. Oh wait, I need to go back one one second, Jay. Jay, if you play in Jay's game, this game, this the uh, the G Core game that we just talked about, you should be honored. Jay doesn't usually do four hour slots. It's that's uh, I mean two hour slots. No four. Yep. I'm sorry. That's four, four hour hours. slots. Yeah. That's a big deal. That's a big yeah. deal, Jay. And I thank you to TSR <laughs> for letting me even run my fence in the room. Absolutely. You guys no have always been really cool to me, so I appreciate it. Yes, sir. So, all right. So, James, you have your first Pulp Era. Is this the first time you're running Pulp Era live anywhere? Um, this is, in theory, Pulp Era, like, version 2.5 in a way. But um, so, <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be the pretty much like an, er- like an early alpha-ish version of uh, the new Pulp Era, which is being done with the Lucky 13 engine, the engine that was... Uh, created for the new top secret new uh new world order rpg right so it's um definitely a big change from the original which i wrote back in the 90s and then the version that i did in 2005 so let's um <clears throat> fingers crossed that this actually uh you know intrigues people and that actually it's a it's a it's a nice version of lucky 13 that's a little bit more cinematic than the uh, highly dangerous and deadly rules uh, that uh, have top, you know, that are in top secret. Okay, and then, and then, then we're no inviting day. we're inviting people to come in during the during what would be the dinner break, and this is where Jonathan comes into play because we're going to do a podcast with him, right, Jonathan? We are. Um, this year is actually a little different for us here at Wargaming Recon. So one of my co-hosts, Adrian, who's been on the show uh, with the Mythwits. He was supposed to be doing this big pirate event uh, using these historical minis rules called Blood and Plunder. And Angela, well, one of the organizers of Total Con, was all excited, was going to promote the heck out of it, right? And uh, I did warn him I was going to throw him under the, under the bus today. And he said, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that stuff done. So let's pull it out. So it was too late to pull it out. He was trying to put something else in. And then it turns out, not only could he not do this, he's not even going to be there. 
He's like, yeah, I think I got to go. And he's going on a trip or something. So he's wussing out of going to Total Con, which is really a shame. But the plus side is, means the rest of us get more airtime for the crossover episode. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. We did it last year, kind of impromptu. Mike, you were great with it last year. Thank you and very much. I, I know um, people who did come, they enjoyed seeing it. So hopefully we'll have more people who are able to come and watch live and uh, just be kind of a, a neat way to see a podcast done in person. Yeah. Yeah. So, it'll, you know, uh, if we can stream it live, if, because I, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Um, it's all, it's all based on connection, right? We'll, we'll try and run it on Facebook live. Um, but we'll definitely record it locally and then, uh, you know, we'll see if we can run it on Facebook live. If we can, you'll see it. I, I guess you cool with me. Uh, we'll just run it on, uh, on, on Mythwits here. That's okay. Yeah, so we'll work. run it live on Mythwits if we can. And then, um, you know, but don't hold, don't hold your breath because signal could be iffy, especially with, uh, you know, you're at a convention with people sucking up bandwidth. Uh, there's a lot of people on electronic devices in, in these hotels. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have, I, hey, I don't know if you know this, Mike, and, and uh, we bought, the wife and I bought a, uh, we bought a, a hotspot. So I'll be bringing that. That's cool. I mean, it's uh, not uh, really uh, any better than like a phone would be, except for the fact that it has its own data stream. So it's not using up my phone data. Yeah. So I was, we'll I was going to make a hotspot joke, but I won't. Can I make a pirate joke instead? Sure. Go ahead. What's a pirate's favorite place to eat? Arby's. <laughs> you would think so, but no, it's long John silver. Uh, <laughs> carry on. Oh, I'm so it, I, glad we stopped the show for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this might be of interest to people. Um, oh, yeah, you got to, something to show us. So this is a new piece of gear. I'm going to be spending a bunch of time nice. at the convention, actually trying to do more recordings of the convention floor, interviews with people on uh, in between games and with organizers and uh, GMs and so forth. And this nifty contraption here, I think this is one of the first production models that they put out. They released it in CES. It's a smartphone gimbal. You put your phone in it like so. And if you're like me, you have shaky hands or you're walking around, you're running, or you're trying to get really good shots of, I don't know, games in action or whatever. It keeps everything perfectly still and makes it look as good as if you were filming a documentary or a movie or, I don't know, something that's up for an award at a film festival that Wait a minute. Of us are in. Is this the piece of crap that, that got you kicked off of uh, YouTube? No, I got that oh, over here though too. YouTube. No, don't show it. Don't show it. <laughs> I know. Like, seven the days. Fuck. Seven more days and I can go back on YouTube. Nice. Ass they ass. still got you blocked. They do. Fuck oh, so bad. YouTube. All right. Anyway. But okay. This is cool. Piece of gear just came out. It, it's on. It's cheaper than the first one. Better than the first one. So I'm all excited for it. But all right. You guys get to see. Fantastic. And you said we're, you're gonna let us play with it a little bit if you have some time, right? Yeah, absolutely. And um, a, a neat thing and kind of the importance of having a community. I know there's a lot of people who love the Mythwits and we all have our own communities of people who love the games that we do and all the creative work that we do. But one of my longtime listeners had listened to an episode of my show where Adrian and I were like, Adrian's not coming. He offered his help. So he's going to be um, my listener, Patrick. He's going to be helping me out with a lot of stuff and cool. uh, equipment and everything kind of coming around and stuff. So nice. you never know. You build up these communities. You build up your shows and the work you do, the games and everything. And then people are willing to lend a hand. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's fantastic. Right. Sounds good. And uh, you should let Steve Wallet play with that a little bit, too, if he gets a chance. Let him look at it because, you know, he's he's a, becoming a film guy. And, um, you know, it, it's nice to be able to just, uh, you know, instead of running around with the big camera, if you want to catch some shots with your iPhone. And a lot of movie makers are doing that nowadays. I mean, there's there's literally movies that are in major motion, you know, major motion pictures that have some of the footage filmed on, like, iPhones. So yeah. or or phone, sorry, Mike, on smartphones. Is that better, Mike? <laughs> Mike what is else, an bro? iPhone hater. Like what else, bro? What else? Oh, geez. <laughs> he is. He, he hates on the iPhone. So better funny. watch out. Could you might come back? Anyway, all right. So show your Apple unity. So hey, yeah, so you could <laughs> pay me enough to switch back to Apple. You could pay me enough. Right. You don't hate it that much. It would still be a lot. Right. I got saying. you. I got you. All right. So so then, Jay, uh, we got your last game, which is uh, Cyberpunk, and I called it Sewers of Night City. It's the only... Yep. Hey, Mike, it's the only Cyberpunk 2020 <laughs> game at the con, right? 
the hell's up with that? How is no one else running any um, cyberpunk stuff? I don't know. Tell us, Jay. What What's up? <laughs> answer, Jay. Answer now. What's wrong with you, Jay? Yeah, so, so my, my cyberpunk game is actually it takes place after the events from my Gen Con 50 game that I ran, which was broken into two parts because I'd run my Gen Con event, and then the guy who was supposed to run the other one had to go hit the floor with Mike. So I had to run his game. So I ran two back-to-back adventures with the, the same crew. And so I'm just going to toss those characters to whoever's playing at TotalCon and, and see if they can jam to Careless Whisper with my, my punk rock chick. And okay. it was a pretty fun game at Gen Con. I, and the TotalCon players always kick ass. Last year, they were pretty pissed at me for my Chuck and Head neo-Nazi. But might have to make up for it this year. So okay. my fingers crossed. All right, all right. And then I'm going to get back to mine in a minute because i got to show something off. But, James, you have you have a top-secret event. You have uh, the Osiris Agenda. And I've ran this with the same one, right? Um, actually, with the Nakamura no, the first, building? That, that was um, – oh, my God. I can't remember the name of that one. But that was the one I pretty much ran all last year. Okay. Um, but uh, this one is a little bit different uh it definitely the villains of my uh my top secret games are back the osiris corporation Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh they're up to other bits of mischief but if you haven't played top secret new world order um i think this is the only top secret no wait peter you run top secret or no i am not not here gary Khan. i'm running it okay yeah so i guess wow this is going to be the only uh top secret new world order game at total con See, um, I set this room up and I organize everybody and I let them pick first and then by the time everybody's done, there's not la- not much left for me. But that's okay because, um, you know, I'm coordinating a lot of things, so I'm going to be kind of busy and I want to do some filming and I'm also going to be running uh, Cuba Death. Like, I'm going to be playing it with anyone who wants to play. Don't pick up games in the bar and stuff. So it's fine. But yeah, I, d- I didn't pick a lot of games at this one. I- I'm only running two things. Yeah, and actually, as usual, I found out that I was running more than I really wanted to run. But, you know, <laughs> hey, it's, it's self-promotion. Well, you know what, though? Because I'm mean, sitting there. The hunt's easy, right? I mean. The hunt's easy. But so Mary and I were looking, my wife Mary and I were looking at um, the games, right? Because I'm going, you know, I really, really, really want to play in a game. And the way my schedule's set up, I have no time to play in any games. Because either... It overlaps something I want to play, or it's too early in the morning. But yeah. fortunately, Gary Con, I have four really cool games set up, so I'm very happy that I will not only be a GM but a player. So it's kind of sad, I really. But I guess in another way, it gives me more time to run around Total Con and be goofy or stuff. I don't know. <laughs> right. All right, and then so this is my other event. So I'm doing the hunt with James, the main event, and then I'm doing Cuba Death. And I've got these are fresh, hot off the presses, not even unwrapped. I haven't even looked at them yet. Uh, these are my new prototypes for uh, Cuba Death. Um, now I still have the main question pack that 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 didn't change. This is mostly just the the cards that changed, and this includes the new adventure deck. Now remember, James, we talked about this. We were like, yeah. why, you know, doing adventures, you know, writing up those big long adventures that I had with the the long dissertations of text uh, was just was just a bit much, uh, and I agree, I agree, it was a little too much. So um, what I did is I came up with a way to uh, to have those on cards. So now there are adventure cards. So instead of having a big description about a room and everything that goes on in it, you have you have these adventure cards. So let me. Let me grab. Let me grab a cool looking one here. They're, I mean, they're all kind of nice looking, but wow, they're really little. Okay, so <laughs> so this is the back of the card. So adventure cards Aww. are brown, at least for the um, little, but it's cute. It's cute for the um, uh, the fantasy version. The 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 adventure cards are brown, uh, and then this would be the adventure card. Now, is it backwards? No. To you guys? No. no okay. We see it good, but I'll let you know on the on the. Uh... Stay, what do you yeah, call they're it? seeing it backwards. All right. Anyway, yeah, sorry, folks. You're seeing it backwards. I ain't gonna fuck with it right now. So anyway, so you have, you know, you have the name, have the name of the room up here. What it is? It's so. It's this one's a temple, and then ugh, it's got so much glare. I can't get it without the glare. Damn it. All right. So anyway, then there's I a descri- 
there's this description of what it is and then there's like a descriptor of the room and then there's an option so this would be uh it's a temple and in the temple uh and, and being that i got a picture here i can describe it i can say you know you enter a, a large room with two statues and a and two uh flaming urns and a and a and a a, a, a uh, what are those things called? People stand a, a uh, altar, <laughs> an elevator. No, an escalator. Anyway, uh, there's a thing up front where people would preach from and then pews, and then um, a catacomb. Shut up. Uh, and then basically, as you as you there's search the shut up, Mike. As you search the unholy Lectern. temple, you trigger an unholy ruin, and then ruin, uh, right. and then it's. Uh, it's a will save to defeat the evil spell. So then that is a basic question. So then I would go to my deck and I'd pull out a basic question. I would read that. If you get it right, uh, you get to go past the room. If you get it wrong, you take damage. Um, but that's, you know, and there's, you know, there's uh, 37 of these right now. There will be a lot more. Um, but this is enough to run at Total Con as a prototype. Um, and then uh, something I did with the treasure card. So you remember... Um, if you do an advanced question, if you take the advanced question, which is a harder question, if you get that right, you get a treasure. So that's the reward for taking a harder question. So like, let me pick one of these rooms. All right, so this room has, this room, the kitchen, um, the encounter is an ogre cook. And you can either, for the easy question, you can do a stealth check to sneak past the ogre, or you can take an advanced question to kill the ogre and take his stuff. So let's say... You, you decide to go for the hard one. You're going to kill the ogre, and you're going to take his stuff. Um, in this case, I pulled a Harry Potter question. So you'd have a Harry Potter question, and then if you get it right, you don't take damage, and you get a ring of luck. And the ring of luck, you keep this card. You would keep this card. Uh, and then as the adventure goes on, if you want to use it against something, you can play the card. And you give it back to me. It's a one-time use. So in this case, you know, uh, you can, for example, you can escape any trap involving magic or you can uh, deliver damage on a correct answer from an expert card, but take no damage uh, from a wrong answer. Anyway, that I don't want to get to the weeds what that means, but basically you have you have treasures and stuff. And so we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. So I'm very excited. So I'm very excited. Um to try out the adventure cards. And then, uh, Jonathan, I'll have to get you a full set so that you can demo it, and uh, when when it goes live, you can show it off to people and say, hey, look, I... It's well, a patio. I can, it's a patio. Mike, a patio. please, enough. Okay, I got it. Ha, 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 real funny. I have your previous prototype deck uh, right. actually over here, which no one can see, but I, I was thumbing through it the other day. Right. It's a nice little deck. Nice new... Oh! John says I got a nice looking deck. Anyway, so this is this is the deck. So I'm gonna put this on me. This is the actual deck, and then uh, I'm gonna replace a little bit of it, and then add these cards, ah, add these extra cards to it. So it's gonna be a nice, thick, big deck <laughs> of cards, of cards to play the game. Cause Bolt. it's fun. All right, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> baby's arm with the apple. Uh, so then. The rest of the weekend is taken up by Chris Pierce. I mean, Chris Pierce is a machine. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's running seven events. And Mike, you were trying to get into one of those. I don't know if you're going to yes. be able to do it. Did you, did you reach out to no. him? Because you don't want to miss the cocktail, man. No, cocktail I can't. Party. No, it, it, his game actually was as four hours. It's not ending until three. Oh, yeah, forget that. You're out. I, I'd have a better chance of going to the cocktail hour and then jumping in the game. <laughs> Yes, you would. <laughs> so. But I don't. Uh, there's no way. But it oh, sounded like such an awesome game too. It was. What was it? it? Was Doctor Who crossed over with something? And now I'm forgetting what it was. More, more Rick and Morty. Yes. Because oh. Doctor Who gives a Rick. Oh. Yeah. I know. It sounds good. So upset. Sounds good. And he's such a great DM. He is such yeah, a great. Yeah. DM. He's an amazing GM. So, uh, so that's it. I mean, that's our events. That's what we're doing at Total Con. So if, if, uh, if you guys, you know, anybody watching this, gals, guys, gals, anyone, whoever, um, you want to come and watch what we're doing at the TSR room, please, please come. Uh, and then, you know, absolutely hit me and James up about TSR questions, more James than me. If you have any questions about TSR, where it's going, what's happening, you know, what, what the current state of things are, um, 
you know, if you have if you have TSR podcast questions, you can talk to me. If you have game questions, you talk to James because he's the he's the. What is your title, James? You're the what? The game coordinator? Game? No, I'm chief games officer. Chief games officer. Okay, because I'm director of new media. Um, CGO. And you know what's funny? I should have I should have gone with something more fun because because. Jason was totally fine with me, like picking just about anything. Like I should have taken like media czar or something, you know. That would... <laughs> so, um, sorry. All right, so that's it. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Um, anything else before I go on? Because I have one more thing I want to talk about, and then we're gonna play the game. No. Okay. Hurry All right. Up. Good. Okay. So, so Steve Wallet. Oh, what that. I just he got a message. Hold on. Hold on. Live video interrupted. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I got a message. The OBS disconnected. Then it said it's reconnecting. Yeah, you're reconnected. Okay. You're back right, good. on. Right. Sorry, that was weird. That's never happened. Hey, yeah. look, Mike, a new a new error. All right, so... Um, That's why I monitor the stream. Hey, but at least it fixed itself. That's fantastic. All right, so Steve Wallet's got a movie. Word from a gamer. Uh, Mythwits premiere is is prominent in it um so you know make sure you go watch that it looks really cool it was mostly filmed yep. at total con last year uh you're gonna see all the people that you know and love um it, it's good jay even though even I, I said no in love but jay's in it too uh no <laughs> <laughs> well at least everyone you know right and mike i don't think mike i think you're in it for Mythwits, but i think uh steve lost a bunch of footage one of his cards went bad and i think oh, yeah. your interview lost was lost my interview. Yep. yeah and mine was lost so i'm the only place i'm in it's with Mythwits, um oh. with the frank mincer interview and uh and interview. and pond smith so that's cool so i can't i can't wait to see this viewing i'm gonna have to catch a saturday morning view because uh friday night we're doing the uh we're running the uh the main event so um Shit, I, I, I closed the schedule. So, James, are you gonna are you free Saturday a. morning at ten? Um, I think you are. It's actually, if I am, then I'm there. Because I don't think you have any um, mornings. Because I, I believe think... I'm in the. No, I think I just have kind of a late afternoon and an evening. So yeah, no, if I'm free, I'll I'll definitely go. Um, I believe I'm in it as well, unless I was part of the lost footage. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, <laughs> the lost I don't footage. Know. I don't know. He'll he did. surface he, in like forty it, years. It sucked. It's he, a he, was, he was so upset because yeah. he lost. Uh, he actually interviewed. I think he interviewed Pond Smith at Total Con, and he mm -hmm. totally lost it all. And he had to use the the Mythwits interview uh, with Pond Smith to get a Pond Smith interview. I was like, oh shit! Well, that sucks. I mean, like, our, I, our interview was pretty decent, but you know, I mean, like, I'm, his would be more prominent to to his you know his movie. But whatever, it is what it is. I'm yeah. I'm here to help. So that's right. So go check out Steve's movie, Word from a Gamer, Saturday morning, 10 a.m. And then there's one at Friday night. I, I'm sorry, Steve, I can't remember the time. Five o'clock, uh, I think. Five o'clock. I think yeah, I think it might be right. I think it might be right. Five o'clock. Well, shit, we might be able to make that if it's five o'clock. No, because we're setting up James. We got to set up that big giant yeah. board. So, but no, sorry, right, 10 o'clock's good. I'll be yep. there. You can come sit in my lap if you're a fan of the show. I'll, I'll let you. Well, Just, hello there. Hello there. All right, that's all I have for that. Are we ready to do the game? Because I know Jay, you need to go to bed, right? Yeah, you're tired. Look at you, you're tired. I can tell. All right, all right, that's fine. Let's do, let's do the game. So remember, you got to do this, then this. Yes. Then I do, and I this. didn't. I didn't do that, and then I got to do this, and oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I screwed it up. All right, anyway, it's game time with the Mythwits. I'm your game master, Peter Bryant. And on this episode, we're playing Match Wits with the Mythwits, the game where you try to fill in my blank. Well, actually, you're going to be filling in Mike's blank. Uh, I will read you a question in which you will be asked to fill in the blank. Fill in the blank with any word but blank. After everyone has locked in their answer, you will all bear your blanks to the camera. Every player that matches... Mike's blank will be awarded 10 points. Every time you tickle my funny bone, you'll be awarded up to five points. So if you don't think you can match Mike, just say something retarded, stupid, whatever, funny, make it funny, uh, and I'll give you some points. Any panelists who match each other will each get one point. There will be three questions. Let's meet our contestants. Our contestants tonight are Jonathan J. Reinhardt, Jay Hello. Libby, no. Huh? And James Carpio. 
and you all will be trying to match Mike. So just remember, when you're giving Don't your answers, down. you got to think like this. This. Think, right? think about Nobody that. thinks like that. Think yeah, about it. Blank. That's why it's, it's a game. All right, I'm going to pull this over here, and I'm going to do that. There we go. All right. I got the scores up. All right, here we go. All right, everybody. It's time to match wits with the Mythwits. All right. First question. Everybody get ready. Got your paper and pens and all that good stuff ready? All right. We all know it's called a pack of dogs, a pride of lions, and a barrel of monkeys. Mike calls this group a blank of gamers. Are you talking about these turds next to me? No, no, no. What's the name? So you have like a pack of dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the turds, the turds sure, that are among sure. me. That, sure, that, sure. Those guys, those gamers. They, they count. They count. Sure. No, I'm a gamer. All right. So a pack of dogs, a pride of lions, a barrel of monkeys. But Mike calls this group a blank of gamers. Let me know when you're all locked in. Okay, James is in. Jonathan's in. Jay is in. All right. I'm Fantastic. locked. Locked and loaded. All right, Mike, you're good to go. You ready? Fully loaded. All right. Uh, oh, shit. How should we do this, Mike? Should we do you first? Because we usually do it the reverse way. We're actually doing it the right way this time. No, so they, they all go, and then I'll reveal okay. mine. All right. Fantastic. All right. So, James. James. We all know it's called right. a pack of dogs, a pride of lions, and a barrel of monkeys. Mike calls this group a blank of gamers. A funk. A funk of gamers, okay? Okay. <laughs> Jay, what does Mike call a group of gamers together? Uh, I think he calls them, uh, if I can see it, a harem. A harem, mm. okay. A funk, a harem. A I don't funk. think he, he uses that word, but I don't think it means what he thinks it means. <laughs> right. In your world, like, anything can mean anything. All right. Uh, uh, Jonathan, what do, what does Mike call? He calls them call a it? stink of gamers. A stink. You know what? I'm gonna call stink and funk the same thing. That's that's mm -hmm. close, close enough. Oh, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Uh, well, aren't you gonna go? Aren't you playing? No, I'm not playing. I'm just running the game. I got a lot oh. going on. Oh. Mike. All right. Do you want me to go? Uh, yeah, I want you to take a guess. Doesn't. Care. All right, Let's I'll take it. a guess. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, you know, I, I and. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I because I didn't guess ahead of time. You know, I I am, yeah, but yeah. I would have I would have said something along the lines of funk, stink. It would have been I don't know, like a like a um, a uh, let's just say a funk. I'll go with a funk. I agree okay, with all right. All right, so Mike. Well, <clears throat> I call them a gulp of gamers. A gulp of get up. Oh, no, nope, there's no match there. Gulp. <laughs> See, that's that's an inside joke too. I, that is an inside that joke. Kind of Mike. inside. Yeah, it is. Inside. It is. So so a little no inside points, goat ball. <laughs> no points that round. No points that round. All right, fantastic. All right, round two. Karagnar, the barbarian, slipped on blood and fell down the stairs. The GM had Mike make an agility check to see if he damaged his blank. Oh. Oh, I know. I know. I know exactly what, what he damaged. I know what I... I'm not going to show mine on the screen because I'm taking notes for everybody, but you can trust me. I got it written down. I'm checked in. Karagnar the Barbarian slipped on blood and fell down the stairs. The GM had Mike make an agility check to see if he damaged his blank. All right. Jay's in. Jonathan's in. James? James is in. I'm in. Mike, are you done? Oh, yeah. I'm just doing artwork. Yes, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's go the other way this time. Jonathan, what what did what did Karagnar damage? His D four. His D four okay, D four, D four. All right, so Jay, Jay, what what did Karagnar fall on and, and, and put some damage to? His ball sack, if you can see it. Ball sack, ball sack, okay, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. That would be whew. I can feel that one. James, what part All of Craig right. Nars is on ice? He landed on his BSC. Uh, James, 
I'm going to need you to clarify. <laughs> is there is there an, an, a double entendre here? What does that mean? Ball sack? Uh, it just means a big savage cock. Oh, big savage cock. All right. Ooh. All right. right. Yes. Ooh. Nice, nice. Ooh. I said, I said, taint. Because <laughs> that's what I always say. <laughs> so Mike, what? Car Agnar, the barbarian, slipped on blood and fell down the stairs. The GM had Mike make an agility check to see if he damaged his. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to say to you guys that I think anatomically there is definitely a match, but it depends on how kind in in, in a region uh, Pete wants to be, because I okay. said that he damaged his chode staff. Chode staff. All right. So I'm I'm calling that. Now, I say I feel like I definitely matched with James. I James, don't know. Balls is not a chode. A chode is definitely, you know. All right. This is what I'm gonna do. So, uh, who said ball sack? Was that uh, that was Jay? So Jay, I'm giving you two points for tickling my funny bone. That's a good one. Uh, James, you get a match. That's ten points. Um, did anyone like taint? Because I can't make a call on that one. Yeah, it's it's kind of like your standby. You know what I yeah, mean? Okay, it's so like, that's no good. All right, phoned so, it in. All right, that's fine. That's so, fine. All right, so we got yeah, some points on the board. Too, don't corrupt him too much. He's a nope. good kid. Nope, fine. Don't wreck Jonathan for me. <laughs> that's fine. We got we got it. <laughs> One pure kid in the group. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All right. So last question. Mike the Bard is so dumb. How dumb I, am I? <laughs> Right. He once tried to woo a fair maiden by writing a song about the smell of her black. Oh, again. It's like it's like you're writing these for me. <laughs> Mike Did the Bard is the answer and work your way backwards. <laughs> Mike the Bard is so dumb. So dumb. He once tried to woo a fair maiden by writing a song about the smell of her blank. All right, uh, well, I'm locked in. I, I I'm just letting you Jay's guys in. know that this this is a deep cut. This one here. Jonathan's a deep cut. James, you good? Yep. All right, Mike, are you in? Oh, in. I'm in like Flynn. All right. Okay, I uh, I'll go first this time. I said, um, all right, let's, let's read the question. Mike the Bard is so dumb, he once tried to woo a fair maiden by writing a song about the smell of her. I said, Brown Star. <laughs> Again, phoning it in. <laughs> phoning it in, Peter. <laughs> Look, the, the, you got it. it, it right, J <clears throat> James, James, what, um, what did you say there, James? I said... Strap on. Strap on. <laughs> that I would James. That would probably definitely carry an odor. That's three points. All right. <laughs> Jonathan, your second. <laughs> I said. Stoa! No! Oh, God damn it. Jonathan, five points. <laughs> Jay. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to default with the her stank. Her stank, the smell of her stank, so just stank in general. Mm. Wait a minute, that refers to like a very specific, like feminine ish. It's is a that, regional stank, right? Regional, like anywhere down there or anywhere in particular? Because see, I said Brown Star. I'm just saying, is, are we matching? Have, have you ever been to a Tijuana hooker show? I mean, where, you know. Yeah, have you ever been to a Tijuana hooker show? No, don't no, answer actually. <laughs> All right, so wait a minute. So, so Jay, I'm gonna say Jay and I match, if nothing else. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's get rid of that. Never one. Jay and I match, because stank is a yeah, thing. Yeah, Well, okay. Alas, so Mike. Alas, wait, everyone. Mike. Yes. Mike the Bard is so dumb. He once tried to woo a fair maiden by writing a song about the smell of her. Alas, you all would have. And oh! Should have oh, damn it! Merkin! <laughs> what the fuck nice. Is a Merkin? Damn well, it. Look it up after the show, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's definitely a, definitely let let me Google that show. for you. <laughs> I'm working right. on it. So, at the end of the third round, very good game, fellas. At the end of the third round, 
James, you are our winner. Yes. Excellent. Good job. Congratulations. James had 13 points. Jonathan came in second with five. Jay in third place with three. And me coming up the rear, as usual, with one. But in the long run, is it really a win when you actually win by thinking like me? Is it a win? <laughs> it's, it's all subjective. These are questions you need to ponder. I still <laughs> love you, Drake. I still love you, man. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you for joining me on the Myth Vits. Uh, I right now want to give out links, so I'm going to start with James. James, where can we find you and your stuffs and things? Um, <clears throat> on Twitter, you can definitely find me at um, at Ravens Poe. Um, on Facebook, I can be found at uh, at Grindhouse Media, and um, uh, I don't know. I can be found at Total Con. That's that's for damn sure. Right. Okay. And it's traditional to always buy someone at TSR several beers. Yes. If you see any of us at the yes. bar, you can buy us a beer. <laughs> We're totally down for that. You know, if you, if you feel so inclined, um, you know, I'll yeah. I'll drink a beer, but it's got to be beer. <laughs> it can't be like yeah. fucking Budweiser or some bullshit thing. It's gotta Budweiser be is real not beer. beer. Right, it's got to be beer, like like beer, actual beer. All right, so Jay, not not wine coolers, Jay. Jay, where can we <laughs> where can we find Jay Libby? You had you had one job. <laughs> where can we find Jay Libby? All right, you can find your best bets to look on Facebook under G Core and House of Jay, and uh, Dilly Green Bean Games on Facebook, and then we have a, a regular website, DillyGreenBeanGames.com. And uh, yeah, that's it. I, I got some stuff coming out from Fireside Create, or I worked with Fireside Creations doing some art for them. So they got some like 77 worlds coming out sometime soon. So that's been pretty badass. So awesome. I'm awesome. everywhere. Pretty much, if, if you're my friend, you can find my shit on your page. <laughs> Right. Well, I don't want to find I don't want to find your shit on my page. Uh, get off my page. Get shit off my page, Jay. Right, right, right. But Jay, I, like, like I said, Jay, Jay puts out a book like every day. So, like, he's got how, how many? <laughs> how many fucking? Why? How many? How many G Core products do you have out? Eighty something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 five pages, and some are two hundred. I just got a Facebook message. Oh, yeah. Jay's got another book out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, look, if you guys like the old Marvel superheroes game, um, this is it. Yeah. G Core. Because it it's basically a modernization of of what oh, put up uh, oh, there you go. It's a modernization of the the old face rip system. Um and then Jay can they can they find the Marvel stuff that is there anywhere they can find the Marvel conversions that you've done? Yeah, we have we have an archaic Yahoo group for G Core. You can find it on the, the G Core page on the on the Daily Green Big Bean Games page, and I have done Marvel file fan files for all the Marvel games that I've run at TotalCon. We even have Penguins of Madagascar, Giver, and some Stormwatch stuff from Wildstorm. So, right, and you can always look if you find Jay on Facebook. If he hasn't blocked you, if you can find Jay on <laughs> <That's> Facebook, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you can personal message him, and he'd be happy to fucking send you or send you a link or send you the files or whatever. Right, Jay? Oh, yeah, totally. And by the way, it's 2,086 people as of last night. <laughs> and if he has, if he has blocked you, hit me up. Right. I <laughs> right. All right. Fantastic. All right, Jonathan, where can we find you and your stuffs? So you can find me at wargamingrecon.com. I'm on iTunes, Stitcher, um, anywhere you find podcasts that you like. On Facebook, we're Wargaming Recon. We got a Facebook group going for those who like the show, Wargaming Recon Podcast Fan Club. And then we got a Patreon campaign happening over at patreon.com slash Wargaming Recon. I'm a backer. You are. I'm a patron, Mike. You're a patron. That's right. Oh, That's I'm right. also Jonathan. I'm sorry. Hey, but my kid is, <laughs> says thank you for the information you gave her on for her awesome. channel. So she you does really man. good stuff. You are the man, Jonathan. I owe you. I, I, I should say to, to promote you guys a little bit. Uh, we're coming up with episode 202 soon for my show, and we have Mr. Peter Bryan coming on. Going to be talking about Cuba death. So yeah. we're really excited about that happening. 
Good. And we have some other good guests coming up too. Stefan Picorni, who's not going to be able to be at Totocon this year, but he's coming on later on to talk about some of his Kickstarters. Wait, Wait Stefan's no Stefan? not coming this year? No. He, <sighs> he has a thing at some school. Oh, wow. And, and he told me he was coming, and then he's like, oh, no, I'm not going after all. Uh, yeah, but him and Nate, they're going to be coming on the show. And we get some other people from Total Con are going to be coming on later on in uh, 2018. Fantastic. All right. All right. Sounds good. Last, All right, everybody. Last year's, I, I was going to say last year's iconic moment was all of us pushing a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a the cart alcohol of cart. booze down the hall day at <laughs> right. like, like 3 a.m. <laughs> Stefan's like, what are you doing with that? What are you going to do? That video. Yeah, you're not going to get rid of that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> what about the children? <laughs> hey, does anybody have that up anywhere? They made me take it down because I put it up on, I think, because I, I put it up on Mythwits and it was kind of like, yeah, it was a little sketchy because the hotel and stuff. Does, do, James, do you have that up on yours anymore or? I don't know if I have it on mine. I, I ran across the the thing I did with it where I, I put it in slow motion and oh, played yeah. Little Green Bag in the background. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I can find that, I'll, I'll send it over to you. I did it and put Ride of the Valkyrie yeah. to it. And it, it was good. It was a fun. It was a fun. It was a, it was a cool moment. Very cool moment. All right. We're going to have a good one time. One more post. It'll be a meme. Yeah. All right. So, Mike, is there anything uh, you want to say before? I mean, it's not like Mike makes anything, or he's he helps me with this show. Like, this is what he makes. This is this is hey, what Mike makes. We like you, Mike. I, you bang ideas off of me all the time. I bang ideas off of him. Yeah. <laughs> Should have said I, it like that. I throw them at him, and he goes. Dang. <laughs> Please, there may have another. <laughs> if they yeah, stick, they're good. Stick. <laughs> All right. All right. That's it. Enough. Enough. Everybody, make sure you go to TotalCon. TotalCon is, uh, uh, what's the what's the area again? Marlboro, Mass. Marlboro, Mass. Massatuckin. Massatucky. Massatucky. Massaputin. Way up Putin. that way. <laughs> um, February 26th to 25th. Uh, you probably can't get a hotel room anymore. <laughs> But, but, uh, what's that? It's 22 to 25. Yeah, 22 to 25. Um, you Best should come. Western Royal Plaza Hotel. Thing. If you're going to be anywhere near there, you should go. Just come hang out with us. I mean, fuck it. If you're not into gaming and you're watching this show, which I have no idea why you would be if you were not into gaming or geekery or whatever, and you just want to come and drink beer with us because we're, you know, we're entertaining or whatever, I'll drink beer with you. Shit. Um, but anyway, yep, go to Total Con. It's a good time. If you can't make it this year, go next year. Absolutely. Uh, and that's that's it. So let's run. Oh, shit. Did I close? No, I didn't close that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you know how it is, Mike, with the notes and the things. And the, I got like a million things open right now. All right. A lot. What? It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. All right. You have just enjoyed another awesome episode of The Myth Wits. We're live on Facebook Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Please ask our guests questions or just banter with the other Myth Fits, just like tonight. A lot of people in the room. Paul Nunes, Dave Benavides, Nick Palmer, Steve Wallet, tons of folks. Uh, uh, Mama oh, Marsh geez. was in there. Um, what's up? Oh, Steve, I got a student. One of my classes, dude, looks just like you and he's nerdy like you. It's uncannily creepy. Bring him along. Drinking, I'd be like, holy <laughs> crap, it's Steve. Hey, get a picture. Show Steve. All right, so you. if you miss our live show, you can always catch the Encore episodes on Facebook or YouTube. Find us on Facebook and Twitter as MythWits and check out MythWits.com. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher, or you can just listen at MythWits.Podbean.com. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate, and make sure to share your favorite episodes on social media to help spread MythWits love over the entire planet, and I'm certain it's going to be this episode because this episode was awesome. MythWits is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com for more cool stuff like Jonathan's show, Wargaming Recon, Fantastic, Dead Game Society. Uh, 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 what's the other one? Uh, there's, there's nothing else that's, that's it. left. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> hey, Game School's coming back. Game School's coming back. I, I've been in talks yeah. with peoples and things. Uh, Mythwits is part of... The, uh, I said that part. Mythwits is a creative common product. Like it and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it. And don't trade it in at the Total Con flea market for vintage games make sure to check out studio27.com for more cool stuff and join our mailing list thanks everybody for listening tell your friends to tune in and until next week mike hey jay you closeted football loving motherfucker fuck the patriots
Fuck you. 